Saturday, October 27th. The Barry Bass Masters Tournament is on today. It's been raining all day today. Okay, so four or five scales back, and again, if you want to air, air on this side because there's no organs in there, okay? So you just want to push the scale up like that, and then insert the needle. It's a cleaning, fizzing kit. It's a um, inch and a half, 18 gauge, uh, hypodermic needle. Buy it at any pharmacy. And the cleaning for that is basically a bread wrap. Just peel it what? back so you got the wire there, okay? There you, you go. Just shove the wire in the, uh, in the needle. Clean it out. Clean it out and just blow in it. The air goes through, it's good to go. All right, now we're going to grab a fish. Grab a fish. Nice little bass here. Bass masters a berry. And why do we do the fizzing, John? Fizzing to relieve the uh, air bladder. And fish suffer from what's called paratrauma. And basically that's uh, equivalent to um, the bends when you're diving. Uh, so it causes pressure when uh, the bladder gets expanded. And there's various symptoms. There can be um, bulging eyes, bleeding from the gills, blood vessels breaking and so on. Um, the fish, is, fish can stay very healthy once they're fizzed. And, um, yeah. and we've had fish uh, from the Aurora Bassmaster uh, tagging program that have been released up to three times and fizzed three times, so we know that it works. Right. The alternative to that, of course, is that if you let them go, they go up on their side, and the gulls get them, and the first thing they do is pick out their eyes. Right, and they're done. So now we're going to do this. Grabs his fish. Okay, so. What we want to do basically is um, find the bladder. The bladder extends from about here to about here on a fish this size. You can see this fish is very bloated. Right. So all we want to do here is um, lift the scale like that, insert the needle like that, and then we put them back in the water. And you can see the air coming out. And this was a really good fit, nice clean fit. See? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to hold this fish underwater until he starts to feel a little bit heavier and he'll want to right himself and um, and he'll also bite down a little bit on your finger. Right. This is help preserving is your there. bass. There it is there. So there now you, you take go. the needle out, out of the water, and just give it a rub like that. I'm going to put that fish back in. He should be fine. All right. Thank you, John. One fish. He's weighing in right now. Seven twenty. Seven twenty. Seven thirty. Next. What happened? We got seven thirty there. We can keep that, right? Seven twenty. Can we get a picture of that? Look out there, uh, Larry. Yeah. Thanks. Man. Okay, there we go. All right, got it. Thanks. All right, Will, how you doing? We're great. So Good. we just finished the uh, Barry Bassmasters Lake Simcoe Open. What we have here are some fish that uh, were taken from deep water, and when they're put in the live wells. Uh, this is a catch and release event, so guys keep them in the live wells and then uh, they'll need this uh, procedure called fizzing because they're suffering from barotrauma right now. So the, the fish's version of the bends and these fish will have extended air bladders. So that we found that with um, using a hypodermic needle, 18 gauge, one and a half inches, and you lay the pectoral fin flat 
get up underneath the scale and just put it in and you can hear the air come out and then you'll put it in the water and you can see how that air is dissipating from the air bladder. So we'll just let that go naturally and then once all the air is out the uh, air bladder will be able to resume functioning normally and he'll be able to swim back down to the bottom. What we don't want to do is release these fish when they can't swim to the bottom back out in the main lake. So we'll treat them all and then they'll be uh, happy campers afterwards. There we go. Hey, thanks Will. All right, you're welcome. So the placement is a little different with each size fish. If it's a little smaller, you go back a little bit more. And if it's a big fish, you're right up tight to that ventral fin. Is it any different than smaller or larger ones? Uh, not really. No. no.